hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is sheila again and today i'll be showing you how to make this matching bralette for our previous tutorial um this is something that can match the shorts that we did in our previous video it's also a floral summer bralette so i'll be showing you how to make this i know some of you have seen this before on my page but i've been getting so many requests of um people wanting me to repeat the tutorial to give clear instructions on video since most of you know when i started my youtube um, journey i didn't have the right equipment or i wasn't so experienced with recording for camera so as or is looking for an excuse to repeat this top but since i made the floral shirts i just found it fitting for me to redo the top and give you clearer instructions on how to make this bralette because this is going to match these shirts so i'm very sorry for the delay for those who have been waiting for me to redo this video I'll be do redoing some of my very first tutorials because they weren't so clear and I didn't really have um, so much knowledge about recording for YouTube but I think now I'm in a better place and yeah I present you this bralette and let's get into the tutorial for this project you'll need uh, the same exact yarn that you used for the shorts You'll need robin, uh, okay, any medium weight yarn. For my case, I'll be using robin, 100% acrylic, and I'll be using black and yellow. So uh, I'll be doubling my yarn to achieve a medium weight look, since this is very thin. And then I'll be using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, which is an F hook. So let's get into it and we learn how to make this floral top okay this tutorial is going to be very close or similar to our previous tutorial of the shirts we're almost going to do the same exact thing but we are going to be creating the top that can match these shirts so let's get into it You're going to grab your 3.75 millimeter hook and then um, your first color. The first color is the color that's going to be going in the middle of your motif. Let me say black because that's the one I'm using for this. <coughs> You're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to chain five. You're going to go into the very first chain with a double crochet. So that counts as two double crochets. Then chain one, double crochet in that same chain. Chain one, double crochet in the same chain. Chain one double crochet in that same chain so we want a total of eight double crochets so this first one counts as a double crochet this is one two three four five three more six chain one seven chain one and eight so after your eighth double crochet you're going to chain one and then you do a slip stitch on the third chain of the very first chain so you have eight double crochets so you're going to chain one and then you're going to cut your yarn so we are done with the first color so you're going to grab your second color mine is yellow because I'm doing a matching top for the floral shirts so I'll be using the same exact colors you're going to attach your yarn in any chain one space. Attach your second color. 
then you chain three this counts as a double crochet then um make two more double crochets in that same space so that counts as three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the next chain one space chain two skip the next double crochet and go into the chain one space with three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the next chain one space chain two three double crochets in the next chain one space chain two three double crochets in the next chain one space chain two three double crochets in the next chain one space one two and three chain two and three double crochets in the last chain one space so after this you should have uh, eight groups of three double crochets and then you're going to chain two and slip stitch on top of the very first chain three then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn so this is the end of our second round and you're going to go ahead and make six of these so this is one you're going to make five more of these and um, I'll get back to you when you have six of these circles then I'll be showing you how to shape them into the <coughs> bra cups while working the very last row of black okay so these are my six circles that I've made and uh, for a bra cup we shall need only three so I'm going to put away these three for now and I'm going to be working on my first bra cup so grab your next color mine is black and uh, grab one of the circles so you're going to attach your yarn in any of the chain two spaces so this is the boundary color for each motif so attach it to any chain two space let me put away this and now we are going to be working the last round you're going to chain three and then place two more double crochets in that same chain to space so that counts as three double crochets chain one <coughs> skip over to the next chain to space and place a corner so a corner is three double crochets chain two three double crochets so these are my three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets in that same space so at this point we've created our first corner and now you're going to chain one and place three double crochets in the next space then you're going to chain one and create your second corner so the next space will get three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets like that so um after this you're going to chain one and place three double crochets in the next chain two space then you're going to chain one and then go into the next space creating a corner so three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets so chain one and the next space is going to get um three double crochets
chain one and then the very final space is going to be a corner so three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets so that marks the end of our round so you're going to chain one and slip stitch on top of the first chain three of our round and then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn so this is how our motif looks like our final motif we are going to go ahead and um, complete these other two but uh, joining them to create a bra cup at the same time so you're going to grab your second one <coughs> and do the same exact thing here but joining it to this one so I'm going to be showing you how you're going to attach your yarn in any chain to space like this and then you're going to chain three and place two more double crochets in that same chain space so that's a total of three double crochets chain one and now we are creating a corner so um we shall be making three <coughs> three double crochets in this space then instead of chaining two you're going to chain one remove your hook and attach it to this um this space here this corner insert your hook pull through that loop and then chain the second chain and complete this corner with three double crochets in that same space so we've started joining this box to this box so you're going to chain one remove your hook insert your hook into this next space pull through this loop and then go into the next space with three double crochets chain one remove your hook insert your hook in this next space pull through that loop and then create another corner here so three double crochets and instead of chaining two you're going to chain one remove your hook insert your hook into this other corner and pull through that loop and chain your second chain and complete the corner with three double crochets so what we are trying to do here is to work this second motif while joining it to the first one <coughs> excuse me so chain one and then you're going to complete this other box three double crochets there chain one create a corner in the second chain to space one two and three chain two and three more double crochets in that same space so we've created our third corner because this is the first second third and then you're going to chain one plus three double crochets in the next <coughs> chain to space chain one and then create the last corner so we are going into our very last space with three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets all in the same space so after this you're going to chain one and attach um slip stitch on top of the first chain three of the round then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn so at this point we've created the base of our bra cup and i'll be showing you how to join the third the third um the third circle is the one that determines the shape of the bra cup 
so attach your yarn you're going to grab your third circle and you're going to attach your yarn in any chain to space chain three and place two more double crochets in that same space to make a total of three double crochets then you're going to chain one and create a corner so this corner you're going to do three double crochets but you're not going to finish it three double crochets and then you're going to chain one instead of two remove your hook and now we want to attach it to this um <clears throat> this part of the back up so i'm going to grab this corner and i'm going to pull through that loop <clears throat> and then i'm going to chain my second chain and then go into that same space to finish up the corner with three double crochets this is what we have chain one remove your hook insert it here in the next space pull through that loop and then go into the next space with three double crochets so the only thing is knowing what you have to do in the next space then you're going to chain one remove your hook insert your hook into the next space here and pull through that loop and go into the next space this is supposed to be a corner so you're going to go into it with a double crochet and two more double crochets to make a total of three then you'll chain one instead of two and then go in between this box and this box there's that space here and then you're going to pull through that loop and chain one more <coughs> and complete this um, corner with three double crochets then you're going to chain one we are still joining so remove your hook insert your hook into this space pull through and make three double crochets in the next space one two and three Ch -ch chain one remove your hook insert your hook into the next space pull through that loop and then um, place three double crochets in the next space so this is supposed to be a corner so three double crochets chain one remove your hook insert it into this other corner here pull through that loop and chain your second chain and then you complete the corner with three double crochets in that same space then you're going to chain one make three double crochets in the next chain to space chain one create your last corner so the last corner is going to have three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets And then you're going to chain one and slip stitch on top of the very first chain three of the round then you're going to chain one and this time we're not going to cut our yarn because we are literally done with the shape of the bra cup you can see the shape has come out our bra cup is accommodating so this would fit I think from a size small to medium I'm going to do uh, a simple row of half double crochets around just to give it a straight edging but um, for the bigger sizes you can go ahead and do some rows of grannies around so let me show you if if someone is um, larger than this size because I've tried it on and it fits a size small and I think it would fit a medium but if you're a larger size I'm going to be showing you one row of of this of going around to um, 
widen the the bra cup and then you make it bigger to your size so if you're a larger size you're going to cut your yarn here and then you're going to go straight to this corner you'll make this the base any side the base determine the base and you're not going to be working there and we are going to be working like this so you attach your yarn here um, you chain three and insert um, two more double crochets in this space this is only for the larger sizes who want to expand this bra up to bigger sizes so insert two more double crochets here chain one plus three double crochets here chain one three double crochets here chain one three double crochets at this point so one here one in the middle and one here chain one three double crochets here chain one three double crochets here chain one and here we shall place three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets and go ahead and work on this side then you come back you keep building onto the bra cup so if you're a size small to medium you're going to cut your yarn here let me cut so that i start my work from the corner so you're going to attach your yarn again at any corner somewhere here attach your yarn and now we're going to do a row of half doubles just to make our work neat and straight so chain one half double crochet in that very space half double crochet in between the stitches so go into here half double crochet and then in here half double crochet and then half double crochet in the chain one space so go all the way around in between the stitches and then one half double crochet in the chain one space <coughs> So when you get here, you're going to place one half double crochet in this space, then one half double crochet in between the two boxes, and then one half double crochet on the other side. Then in between the stitches, one in the chain one space, then in between the stitches, one in the chain one space so in between the stitches and when you come to the top you're going to place two half double crochets in this chain two space you're going to chain two and two more half double crochets so you're going to do the same exact thing on this side we're not working anything at the base So we are coming to the end of this row which is just going around like this we are not working on the base so place a double crochet in the very last corner actually you're going to place two double two half double crochets in the last corner 
and this is what you should have so you're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on the other bra cup then um, I'll show you how to join them so at this point I'm going to chain one and leave this uh, leave a little length on this strand because we may need it for joining and then you cut your yarn so leave it at that point and this fits me perfectly well and I'm gonna say it's small so you're going to go ahead and repeat the same exact steps to work on the second bra cup and then I'll see you when we are doing the bottom of the bra cup um, so here we are with our two bra cups. I've also worked a half double crochet row around the second one and remember for the first one I told you to leave some little string and what I want to do is to close up the cleavage a bit. I don't want an open chest. If you want it as a bikini top you can just go ahead and put a string at the base so these are adjustable. But I don't want that. I want to create a bralette. So I'm going to get, I'm going to join them like this. And then I'm going to stitch up like five stitches. So I'm going to align this and make single crochets. Joining one stitch to the other. This is because I just want to close up the chest area a bit. I don't want my top to be so open. So this is the fifth. And then I'll slip stitch into the sixth. Just make a slip stitch and then you chain one and cut your yarn. This helps me hold my top in place. But if you want an open chest, then don't do this. You can skip this part. So the other thing we have to do is um, work at the base of the top to create the bralette. So I'm going to go at the corner here. And I'll chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then I'll chain three more. That's a total of 18. And go into the fourth chain from hook with two double crochets. Like that. Chain one, skip three chains, and in the fourth chain, you're going to place three double crochets. Chain one, skip three chains, and in the fourth chain, place three double crochets. Chain one, skip three stitches, three chains, and then in the fourth chain, you're going to place three double crochets. Then you're going to chain one. And then you skip over all this and go into that corner here and place three double crochets. Then you're going to chain one, go into the next chain space, place three double crochets. So we're working at the base, the side that didn't get the half double crochet row. That was our base of the top. So chain one, go into the next space with three double crochets, chain one, and this is where the two boxes meet. So we shall put one double crochet on this side, one double crochet in the middle, and one double crochet on the other side to make a total of three. Chain one. Go into the next chain space and do three double crochets. Chain one, go into the next space, 
with three double crochets chain one and for this you're going to place one double crochet in the middle here on this side then one double crochet in the middle find the middle and place a double crochet there anywhere around the middle then you're going to place another double crochet here I may have to do four for this case because this is a very long distance and then one on the other side so I'm just trying to balance them but I'll correct that when it comes to the second row so chain one go into the next chain space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets in the next chain space chain one one double crochet on this side one double crochet in the middle and one double crochet on the other side because this is where the two boxes meet so chain one three double crochets in the mid in the next chain space sorry so you're going to chain one and then uh, do three double crochets in the next chain space chain one three double crochets in the next chain space So after the chain three, you should have made a total of 15 chains on this side as well. After this um, three double crochets, you're going to chain one, skip this and skip uh, two more stitches and go into the third with three double crochets. chain one skip three chains and go into the fourth with three double crochets chain one skip three stitches and go into the fourth with three double crochets chain one and go into the very last chain with three double crochets so that marks the end of our very first row of the bottom line of the bottom um shaping so you can see that so for row two we are going to chain three and then chain one more that counts as a double crochet chain one then go into the next space skip over these stitches and go into the spaces with three double crochets chain one go into the next space with three double crochets chain one go into the next space with three double crochets chain one so this is the repeat of this um, bottom part of our top you're going to do as many rows as you need to do to get the coverage that you want for your top and i'm going to go ahead and keep working and i'll be letting you know how many rows i did for my bralette So when you get to this point where we did four stitches you're going to just chain one and skip over to the next space just treat it like the normal three stitches just skip over to the next stitch and place th 
three double crochets in the next space like that so I'm going to go ahead and do some more rows and I'll be letting you know how many I did to complete my bralette so right now I'm coming to the end of my second row so I'll place three double crochets in this space and then I'll chain one and then place the last double crochet in this last space so this helps us to balance exactly what we did at the beginning of the row so I had to show you that so that you don't get confused on what to do when it comes to the end so for row 3 row 3 will be almost the same as row 1 so you see there's a chain 1 space that means row 3 starts with 3 double crochets just like row 1 so you will go you will chain 3 turn your work and then place 2 more double crochets in this chain 1 space so that's a total of 3 double crochets so you see it looks the same as row 1 so that means your row 4 will look the same as row 2 so don't get confused when you come to the beginning and to the end of the rows um, just look at the even rows will look the same then the odd rows would, will also look the same okay so I've gone ahead to do a total of six rows and for my seventh row I'm going to do something similar to what I did to the shirts the edging is going to be the same so for my seventh row you'll chain one you're going to chain one and then single crochet in this in this space chain three and place three more double crochets in the same space and then single crochet in the next space chain three and place three more double crochets in the same space so that's the repeat for this row until the end single crochet chain three double crochet three more times in that same space so this is all we are going to do for this row and this is our final row so go ahead and finish it up then we shall get to the straps um so this is how your work should look like this is the uh i've come to the end of my last row so we're going to go back to the top of our bralette and we attach straps i think i'll do that with a bigger hook i'm going to be using a five millimeter hook and i'll do a normal chain of around 200 chains 250 because it's going to go all the way here and we do an x at the back then into the sides of our bralette so you're going to attach your yarn here at the very top we have a chain to somewhere there so attach your yarn there then you're going to make the chain so i'll first do a single crochet to secure my strap and then start making a normal chain of around 300 chains and do the same on this side at this point and at this point okay so right now i've done my straps so i'm going to turn my work inside out to the wrong side and then i'll bring this string that's on this side this one on this side i take it to the other side of the lower part of the um bralette weave it through the first row and then i bring this one on this side and do the same on this side so we shall have an x at the back then uh this is one then i'll skip two rows and then in the third i'll weave it in again so we are lacing it up like a shoelace 
something like that then I'll do the same on this side then I'll cross over and then place in the very last row so just find where it's comfortable for you so I just did it three times and I think these are enough for me and uh, this marks the end of our top this is our final look I hope you liked the tutorial give it a thumbs up if you liked it uh, if you have any challenges you can comment I can always reply if you have any challenges with my tutorial and then um, this top is perfectly fitting for these bottoms because we've literally done a set and if you want to find out how to make these shirts uh, they're in my previous video I'll be linking the uh, I'll be putting the link in the description box below and yeah that's how to make this beautiful floral set for summer I hope you liked it um, have a good day bye